Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make the Double Fish Friendship Bracelet. And this bracelet is a big bracelet, so it'll have to be in parts. Three parts, actually. So this part will be the longest, because this is where I have to explain everything. And yeah. So, you will need... It's exact... You start exactly the way a double chevron. So you could use 16 strings, 4 colors... Four of each color. Cut them. Your wingspan. Ten at the top, and set. And yeah, and then, or you could do what I did. Eight strings. Four, two, four colors. Two of each color. Double your wingspan. So, and then you fold it in half. Tie a loop at the top. And you could cut off the loop like I do, because I hate loops. So, yeah, and, <coughs> sorry, so, yeah, and then you set them up, two chevrons next to each other, so, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, two, one, one, two, two, three, three, on. Sorry, guys. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> okay. So now you're going to just start with four, four basic double chevrons. So after you've done that. That and this is the bracelet I used in my double double arrowhead video. I didn't really want to make a double arrowhead, and I know this pattern, and I decided to do it. So yeah. <clears throat> so you are going to take this string and do forwards up to cross one, two, three, four. This is how your double ch chevron is connected. And if you want to do just the diamonds, you keep doing like the same thing over and over and not doing the double arrowhead in between. So, yeah. And this bracelet looks hard, but is... It is so simple. Like, after you do your double arrowheads, it's like, it gets so easy. Because starting and cutting your strings is always the hardest part. <clears throat> okay, so now that you've done that, you're going to go to the other side. Take this middle strand. Oops, sorry. I'm kind of like sitting on my strings. Yeah, I'm just going to take this side and put it aside. Make it easier. And this. Okay. So you're going to do backwards knots across these three. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay. So now you've done that, you're going to bring these strings down and just kind of put these aside. But leave this one, the strand, sorry that you're like not the the main color the fish just put that there and you're gonna do forward knots across these four strands so you're making the chevron <clears throat> Thank you. 
it's like so quiet. <laughs> Okay, so you're connecting your chevron here, and yeah. So now you're going to take these strands. So see, it's like a chevron right now. You're going to take those strands and put them to, to the side. <clears throat> I like to put them like in these little things on my clipboard. And you're going to bring down these. And you can put all of these aside, so it's easier. And you're gonna do pretty much the same thing on the other side, except you're gonna connect. You're gonna do backwards knots to complete the chevron <coughs> across those four, or you could do the across these three and do a forwards knot. I'm just kind of do backwards because I think it's easier to just keep going instead of stopping to change the knot process. Yeah. Okay, so now that you've done that, you are going to just <clears throat> put these aside, bring these, hold on, let me find my strings I need to use here. Okay, so put, take this, put this aside, those four, take these four, put them aside. So yeah, you have these eight, well you could put these, like, the strands of the, of the fish over there. So, all right, <clears throat> just kind of spread them out so you can knot on them. This you won't be knotting on yet. Okay, so you are going to take your two middle strands and. Do a forwards knot and keep going up to here. You always stop at this strand. So I have blue, so I always stop at this strand. Okay, so. We're making a diamond in the middle. So it's like you need, you don't really have to know the diamond, brace, like the X or the crisscross or the diamond to know this, it would be easier if you know this, because I didn't look at the pattern for this. I just kind of knew how to make the diamond and figured it out. So, making the fish. Okay. So now that you've done that, you're just going to put this string aside along with this strand, the fish strand. And you're going to go to the other strand, the same color, so for me it's pink, and do the same thing. Back, well, almost the same thing, except you're going to do backwards knots on, on these strand, on these two. So now you've done that, you <coughs> are going on. My strings are like messed up here. Okay. So now you've done that, you are going to take <coughs> the two middle strands and do and connect the middle strands and do just do two forward knots. One, two, on those two strands. Okay, so now you're going to go to the other side. 
and do a backwards on, on that strand. Okay, so just put these two strands aside and just do a forwards on with your two strands in the middle. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so now you're going to bring down all the other strands, not all of them, but the strand, this, these strands, and you just, the strands that were up before, not every strand. Okay. So, you're just gonna do a chevron with these strands, the outside strands, these. Okay, I'll show you it. It's not like I could pause this anyway and stop. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, guys. Let me fix my string. Okay. So. Ugh, so many strings, it's annoying. Okay. Okay. Forward dots crossed these three. I'm going to go pretty quick because this is like 12 minutes right now, about. Okay, so now you've done that, just put these, all these strands aside, not this one. And you're going to do backwards knots across these four. Ending your chevron. Okay, so that is all you do. Here, let me show you what I have and how the bracelet looks. The tripod is dropped. Pull the clipboard. Zoom in. Yeah, let me bring these strings down. You have a tiny diamond right there. And the, those are the fish. It looks really cool. And yeah, thanks for watching. And check out the other parts so you know the bracelet.